Evening folks, Brian here, Joe Magnetic Earthwatch, Saturday, May 17, 2025. Some more educational videos on uh, space weather and the current impact that we're experiencing. So the uh, the solar winds, uh, when they reach us, they interact with Earth's atmosphere and magnetosphere with remarkable impacts. Not just pretty visualizations of auroras in a lot of places, but very disruptive as well on Earth, its systems, and on uh, on us. So the high-speed solar winds uh, can be uh, harmful to Earth in several ways. And during heightened activity, they can disrupt communication and power systems by interfering with Earth's magnetic field. They can also affect Earth's natural systems, like our jet streams and our weather, as well as in our uh, us humans, our infrastructure. Our infrastructure is our brain, our cardiovascular system, our circulatory system, our gastrointestinal system and other systems throughout our infrastructure. Um, as well as emotional situations and behaviors. The high speed and dense streams of the solar wind can disrupt uh, Earth's magnetic uh, field, magnetosphere. It compresses it continually on the uh, sun facing side. And this process injects the energy, the highly energetic particles, into the magnetosphere, which produces uh, results in uh, geomagnetic storms. Now, this is what induces the ground currents through conductors, power lines, rail lines, and into uh, electrical substations. Uh, again, as I've said, causing uh, the systems to trip out, cause grid failures. Also remember that the solar uh, influences changes in the uh, ionosphere, which modifies or changes uh, the radio wave uh, propagation, at times blocking uh, radio waves, radio inter interference, which of course affects your GPS and your GNSS, your global navigational signal systems. <clears throat> the main point of this video is the delivery mechanism and the speed at which these highly energetic charged particles reach us. The delivery system or the speed. So, for example, during an inbound and an impacting coronal mass ejections, CME can last for minutes to hours. It can travel as slow as 250 kilometers per second. In the most extreme cases, it can travel 3,000 kilometers per second. That would be the most extreme example, an Earth direct facing carrying level event, but that's not what we're talking about today. <clears throat> uh, there's been some suggestions that I do not agree with that when the uh, current geomagnetic instability irritation started, that it was from the glancing blow of. Uh, recent CMEs. Folks, these CMEs were way off in the sides, the limbs of the Earth. They were nowhere near Earth facing. We may have gotten the slightest glancing blow. Sorry, I don't, I don't believe that. As I've been showing you throughout the day, the accelerating speed of the solar winds Excuse me, you don't get those speeds from glancing blows, CMEs. The last time I checked was 823 kilometers per second. Now, during CMEs, as I said, they can travel as slow as 250 kilometers per second, carrying its payload, the highly charged particles, slow moving 
However, today the current speed of the solar winds impacting the Earth is this. Like the speed of a fast bullet train. So the slow moving steam locomotive traveling through the countryside, the slow moving CME, when it hits us, last minutes, two hours. That high speed train, sustained compression on our magneto pause, the sun facing side of the planet, which is going to be lasting for days on end which is gonna severely put a lot of pressure on the grids and the safety systems are gonna trip out and turn everything off. Just like during the last time that this coronal hole rotated about 28 days ago, and it tripped out the systems in uh, Portugal, Spain, France, England, subway stations, etc. Again, right now, we have a sustained compression into our magnetic field. Magneto, magneto pause. It's hitting us. It's not going to stop. It may last for days. Three, four, maybe five days sustained. What do you think that's going to be doing to our grids? Never mind our brains. So I just want to give you an example. Pictorial. A lot of people better understand it when I when I you know, show the pictures and the videos. Slow moving steam train passing through the country versus a continuing hit of a uh, bullet train. You can also uh, liken it to say the slow moving Saturn V rocket launches that launched the Apollo missions versus the speed of a hypersonic missile traveling eight, nine times the speed of sound, hitting us hard nonstop. Therefore, the, acceler the accelerated solar winds alone in the absence of, a, of an explosive event from the sun can be more detrimental and harmful to our planet, its infrastructure, its grids, and our brains. That is all. Have a nice day, uh, as you were. Oh, uh, what, <clears throat> one more thing, because there's always news people and they're always asking questions. Um, so there's a site called solarham.net. <clears throat> uh, I don't use this gentleman's site. However, he does have some very good useful information. If you click on the uh, help center and frequently ask questions, please take the time to click on and read his uh, information. Uh, he doesn't get too technical, but it explains everything about space weather and solar events, etc. So just uh, click on or uh, research solarham.net help center and frequently asked questions. That is all.